Hi, uh, my name is Louise Bonnet. I'm um, an artist and I usually paint a lot of oil paintings, but I also draw a lot. And this is where I draw. This studio is not totally set up yet, so it's not very organized, but I like to draw standing up because I sometimes have to apply a lot of pressure and um, apply that pressure for a long time so like somehow for me standing up is better um, I have colored pencils uh, a pencil sharpener eraser my glasses um, and different papers and that's it really so it's pretty easy you don't really need much to draw as I think you probably know um, today I thought that uh, I would show you how I draw drops of water or tears or drops of water um, because they're pretty fun to make and actually pretty easy and they're um, when you're done with them, actually, it's a little bit magical because you drew this transpa transparent water and um, I think it's pretty great. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I like to start with making like a surface where, let's see, we have this drop that fell on it. This drop fell on it and maybe a drop is falling here. Right. Um, so the first thing so that to decide is where do you want the light to come in from? So I'm gonna decide that the light is coming this way. So there's a light um, reflection here, and there's gonna be one here. Okay, and then for this one, I'm gonna sharpen this. I'm gonna add a little bit of the color of the background. Here's the background color. It's a bit easier to start with this if you have a background. Right. And so I add a little bit of this background color in there, but not too much. It's a little bit like this. Then next, I'm gonna take a darker color. And the darker color actually, which is a little bit confusing, but that goes right next to the right next to the light the uh, point of light and that's kind of confusing but that is really how it works and makes makes it look really like a like a water drop and it can go pretty dark And all around here, like that. If you squint your eyes, it already looks kind of like a drop. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of a lighter color here. I don't wanna put too much because it works if it's sort of 
And then what really makes it look like a real water drop is if you add the shadow that it casts on the table. one and then yeah that kind of works yeah and then this one I'm gonna start with this lighter color. Around the point of light. Sorry if my hair is getting in there. That's the color around here. And it's marked there. Maybe I'll put a little bit of the red because that would be reflecting too in here. A little bit. And then maybe I'll choose this blue to there right here. So it's really just three or four colors in there. And they're kind of really just all around that white point of light. I think it needs a little bit of a darker color. Still, it's still a little too light. Is this working? No, it's not great. I'm gonna try um, this color, maybe. So it's actually pretty forgiving. You can try stuff and it really, it's totally fine. That's how you might really find something that works by trying like that. Maybe that works. I think you can really see if you add background. So let's see if you add a background. the background and not touching the colors really so there's a there's a light in there there's a light in the drop I think this point of light is too far in so I'm going to make the drop smaller, thinner, because, yeah, but, and I'm really not afraid to erase. Okay, that's another drop. I think it's pretty fun to do. I, I like doing these. But really, 
The only thing to really remember is that the drop, the point of light in the shadow is really around it. Even if you just do it like that, it still works. Yeah. There you go, I think. Okay, I hope uh, that that was helpful. Okay.